In this series of videos, we are going to learn how to convert a fully vanilla Debian XFCE to a fully functional programmer workstation using i3. We are going to use Debian as it is the most used distribution in Linux along with its derivatives, but the course can be extrapolated to any distribution. Let's see how this workstation looks like. In this case, we are using a tiling window manager, so the windows are adjusted automatically. The main advantage of a tiling window manager is that we don't have to rely on the mouse. Creating, moving, and closing applications is done entirely with keyboard commands. Another advantage of tiling window managers is that they are extremely light, much more than any desktop environment. I recommend watching the video on the screen if you have never heard of tiling window managers. In addition to installing and configuring i3, we are going to install and compile plugins of an excellent tool called Rofi. Rofi is a tool that allows us to create selection menus. With Rofi, we can move around very quickly if we have a lot of applications open. We can also open programs, similar to how we would do it with Spotlight on Mac. Using the green clip tool together with Rofi we can create a clipboard manager, that is, it allows us to have a history of the text and images we copy so we can reuse them. I have created a script that allows us to preview the images we have saved so we can reuse them. We can also use Rofi to create an emoji selector, calculator, and a couple of other things. All these plugins, we are going to compile and install them manually, since they are not in the Debian repositories. We are going to learn how to install fonts with many icons and we will install the ZSH shell with the power level 10k theme. ZSH is an interactive shell, which allows us to get around with the terminal more easily. We will also install several terminal utilities, such as Delta and LazyJet, which allow us to see the changes made in Git more easily. We will install the FusiFinder tool which allows us to search for files faster, and we will add keyboard shortcuts to make them easier to use. We will learn how to compile and install Neovim and install my personal configuration. We will download and compile the tool called NNN, which is an extremely lightweight and fast terminal file manager. We will enable the icon function and install the plugin that allows us to preview files. This program has an extremely useful function that allows us to navigate over the folders interactively using the Vim keys. We will install both the Nerd Fonts version and the version with icons. Finally, we will install a dark GTK theme and these icons. We will have a very interesting class where we will create a module to display the battery in this bar here using ChatGPT. This course is not for Linux beginners, you need to have basic knowledge of the terminal and some commands. I will leave in the description all the necessary courses to be able to follow the course. The course is not intended to simply show you how to install my configurations, 
but it is intended to teach you how the process of troubleshooting and decision-making works when using Linux. The reason we are using i3 is because it is very easy to configure and because it is my favorite, I have tried DWM, Xmonad, Awesome and Qtile, but the truth is that i3 simplicity fits perfectly to my workflow. This course is a summary of a lot of the knowledge I've gained using Linux since 2017, so if you get to like the course you can support me via PayPal. I want to thank Luke Smith, Derek Taylor, and Last Dragon, since more than half of the things I know about Linux I have learned from them. So let's start with the course in the following video.